The world of man wasn't a big thing in Shadow of Mordor, which was quite a bummer for us. That isn't the case in Shadow of War. Gondor will play quite a big role in this game and we're gonna take a look at how it will do that. Gondor in this game can be seen as another tribe actually, with the exception that it's on our side. They've got their own fortress, Minas Ethel of course, they have their own armor and soldiers and of course captains, war chiefs and overlords. In this video we're gonna take a look at all that. There is a reason why Monolith decided to drop the Mordor bit in the title and that's because the game is expanding beyond the borders of Mordor. Michael the Platter, Vice President of Creative, said the following. One of the reasons it's Shadow of War and not just Mordor is that we've expanded beyond Mordor. So the Dark Lord is growing his armies and his forces, led by the Witch King, and they have come out of Mordor and attacked and assaulted the human city of Minas Ithil. They have conquered it and turned it into Minas Morgul, which is the Tower of the Witch King. That actually brings us to the front line of this war, out beyond Mordor and all the way forward to the Kingdom of Gondor. We know now that the game will start near or in Minas Ithil. Michael the Platter mentioned you're interacting with those guys, kind of learning the ropes, so your first exposure to how followers work, or bodyguards, or fighting alongside people, is actually with humans. This can be seen in the hierarchy of Minas Ithil. There is an overlord, we'll get to in a minute, followed by the five war chiefs, including Barnor, Idril, and three other random baldies. And the rest of them are captains similar to what we've seen so far with the orcs. Minas Ithil is designed with the same architectural style as Minas Tirith and Osgiliad. The Romanesque style with the white bricks and dark grey to bluish roofs are typically Gondorish. The surrounding area is mainly covered in green and grey, with pine forests and beautiful mountains. Besides Minas Ithil, at least Osgiliad and maybe Minas Tirith may make an appearance in the game, probably not as a playable area, but probably in flashbacks or the lore of the game. Next to this, it's also nice to have a friendly faction that's actually around in the game, with friendly NPCs to interact with. The soldiers of Gondor are dressed in classic silver with gold and red Gondorian armor, as can be seen on the picture. The war chiefs, which we'll get to in a second, have black armor with golden ornaments. Let's take a look at the heroes or the higher ranks for the Gondorian soldiers. We have the overlord or general, it might be called a little differently, and we'll start with him. The overlord is called Castamir, and he's an older guy with grey hair. We don't know too much about him, except for the fact that he's haunted by his failures, and because of that he remains in Mordor, and that's all we know about him. And this is through the new mobile game, where he's actually a playable hero. Climbing down the ladder, we can see that there are five war chiefs or sergeants. Like we mentioned, there are three random baldies, and the other two play a bigger part in the story. We've seen them already. Baranor is the name of our dark-skinned captain. He's one of the sergeants that we'll get close to in the story during and after the siege of Minas Ithil. In one of the missions you have to free him and nine other Gondorians, together with Idril. Idril is our other sergeant. She's the blonde woman who fights alongside us in the defense of Minas Ithil and in the rescue of Baranor. We don't know too much more about them, though it seems that they will have an important role in the game. And that's actually all we know about the role of Gondor and the Gondorians in Shadow of War. Let us know what you think of Monolith implementing more of Gondor in the game. Personally, I love it. To see the game is going just beyond Mordor, but also more recognizable things. It just makes it feel more like an actual Middle Earth game. For now, thanks for watching, consider leaving a like if you enjoyed the video or a dislike if you didn't. In either case, leave us some constructive feedback on the video, on the art style, commentary and content. Let us know what you think about the role of Gondor in the game and what you're most excited about. And in case you want to stay updated, consider subscribing and clicking the notification bell for instant pop-ups when we upload. Also, in four days, Shadow War will of course be released, so look out for our Let's Play. If you have any questions or you want to share your ideas, let us know in the comment section down below. Once again, thank you for watching, we'll hopefully see you in the next video. Bye bye.